Welcome to the Hour of Code with Alice 2. Creating an Alice animation involves two activities. Setting up the scene, which includes characters and props for your story, and writing the program code for creating the animation. Part 1 of this tutorial will walk you through setting up the scene. Part 2 will illustrate how to write the program code. In this section of the tutorial, you will open an Alice world that has already been started for you and add two characters to the scene, Garfield the cat and his companion, Odie. After the characters are added to the scene, you will position them for the start of the animation. Find the Alice application on your computer and start Alice. You should see the splash screen as Alice starts. After Alice has started, you will see the following dialog box. Click on the Examples tab. Select the Hour of Code Startup World and click the Open button. After the world has loaded, you should see a frozen ice pond scene in Alice. We want to add two characters, Garfield and Odie, to this scene. In order to do this, click on the Add Objects button to go to the scene editor. The scene editor is where the characters and props are added and positioned in a scene. To set up for the beginning of an animation, Garfield and Odie will be found in the gallery, which is located in the lower right hand corner of the window. Use the scroll bar to locate the Garfield section of the gallery and click on this section to view the different Garfield characters. Notice that many of the characters have two models. One model has a happy face and one a serious face. For example, there are two Garfield models, as we can see here. Click on one of the Garfield models to add the character to the scene. In the pop-up dialog box, click on the Add Instance to the World button. Garfield is now positioned in our scene. Find the Odie model in the gallery and add him to the scene. You are now ready to position Garfield and Odie. Use the mouse to click and drag Odie so that he is positioned some distance to the left as you look at the scene. Right click on Odie. A context menu will pop up as shown. Select methods in this menu. A submenu is now displayed, containing lists of methods or actions that Odie knows how to perform. For example, Odie can move, can turn, can roll. We want to select turn to face from this submenu of methods. Then select pond as the target object. Odie will turn to face. Odie is now facing the pond. To position Garfield, we want to right click on Garfield and from the context menu methods, select set point of view to Odie, the entire Odie. This puts Garfield and Odie at exactly the same position, facing exactly the same direction. But we want Garfield to be a little bit behind Odie. And so again, we will right click on Garfield, Methods, Move, Backward, and we are going to select Other which will give us a custom number keypad, which will allow us to type in the value that we want to move Garfield back. Click OK. Garfield is now positioned behind Odie, facing the pond. Our scene is now set up. Return to the code editor by clicking on the Done button. In the code editor, Save your scene using File, Save World As, and then choose where you want to save your world, either to your desktop, your thumb drive, or another storage device. Now go on to part two of this tutorial, creating the animation.